We all know that the engine builder's worst nightmare is installing wrist pin clips in pistons. The old-fashioned way using long nose pliers is difficult, it takes a lot of time, and can damage both the clip and the piston. There really is a better way. The C-Clipper from Buck's Tool does the job in seconds aside without overstressing the clip and without damaging the piston. Here's how you do it. Set the C-Clip on the installer nose like this. Insert the sleeve into the wrist pin bore, then push the installer home. That's it. Just one push and you're done. Before I show you how the C-Clipper works, I need to mention that the sleeve, the installer, and the V-block are specific for a given size of wrist pin. This one is 18 millimeter, but it's only one of the many available. The other thing to bear in mind is the piston style. Plain, mostly two stroke like this one, and undercut, mostly four strokes like this. C-clippers for these two types of pistons work on the same principle, but the setup is a little bit different. We'll start with the two stroke piston. The first thing you need to do is set the depth of the C-clipper sleeve so its nose is just short of the C-clip groove in the piston. We do this by rotating the C-clipper sleeve in the white V-block, which sits against the side of the piston. If you have the mitered edge of the block pointing towards the exhaust side of the piston, both sides of the V should be in contact with the piston, but that's not essential provided you use the same setup when inserting the sleeve for the second C-clip. Now take a look at the C-clipper installer. What's important here is the way the C-clip sits on the installer nose. The gap needs to line up with the groove in the installer handle so you can tell where the gap will be once the clip is installed. This will depend on the engine manufacturer's directions. It won't always be with the gap facing the top of the piston. Now here's the big secret. One end of the clip sits higher than the other, which means the ends overlap each other when the installer is pushed into the sleeve, like so. Now push it in a little further, and you can see how the two ends of the C-clip begin to overlap. And finally, keep on pushing until the C-clip snaps into place. And that's all there is to it. Just repeat the same procedure for the second clip, once the con rod and wrist pin are in place. Now let's look at the undercut type of piston. The undercut is so close to the wrist pin bore, you can't use a fully threaded sleeve. Instead, we cut away the thread to clear the shoulder. The cutaway sleeve needs a different way of setting depth. Instead of rotating the sleeve itself, we use a rotatable depth adjuster ring that's captive in an aluminum V-guide. Aside from that, the procedure for four strokes is exactly the same as for two strokes, and just as easy. There's one last point to mention for those working on Harley-Davidson's. Installing the second clip with the piston actually in the engine is a little bit different. It's different because the V-guide has to sit inside the cylinder studs. This means if you slide the C-clipper down to line it up with the wrist pin, the nose of the sleeve would collide with the piston's top surface, so you need to back it out temporarily, then reset its depth when it's below the piston. That's why the Harley-Davidson version of the C-clipper comes with an extra component, a depth stop you use as a reference for the depth adjuster ring. Once you've installed the first C-clip, run the depth stop down to the depth adjuster ring, then tighten the thumb screw to lock it in place. Then with the piston mated to the con rod, rotate the depth adjuster ring to back out the sleeve so the nose of the sleeve just clears the piston when you slide the C-clipper down toward the block. To install the second clip, all you have to do is run the depth adjuster ring back to the depth stop, then slide the C-clipper up to locate its sleeve in the wrist pin bore. And that's all there is to it. Two or three minutes for what used to be a very challenging chore. There's a C-clipper kit for most performance engines, including off-road bikes, street bikes, ATVs, snowmobiles, personal watercraft, marine outboards, sport compact racers, you name it. Just visit our website for the list of available kits. Once you've used the C-clipper, you won't want to do another rebuild without one.